Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the clouds winning out for most of the day, though every now and then a little splash of sunshine here and there this afternoon, and we're tracking another round of scattered showers. First, take a look at the time lapse uh, from this afternoon. And despite some glimpses of sun every now and then, uh, basically a cloudy sky and a separate weather system now heading our way with a second round of showers. We go to live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, and you can see uh, an area of precipitation now just to the north and west of Providence uh, along Route uh, 295. This is moving into the Providence metro area. Very very shortly. I want to widen out the view because there are some stronger thunderstorms out across uh, or just north of the Mass Pike. You can see this uh, narrow line of some strong storms well north and west of Providence. And we'll keep an eye on this and we'll keep at least the chance of an isolated thunderstorm embedded within just kind of a general uh, shower activity over the next several hours. So early evening showers, no summer heat yet. You'll save a little money on the, uh, the electrical bill and the air conditioning, but uh, no big heat in the future, at least in the near term. And then showers in the forecast still for at least part of the weekend, not the entire weekend. We'll show you that in the seven-day future cast, but you can see cloudy skies in Providence. And obviously cool for this time of year. should be in the upper 70s. It's only 64 right now. East breeze at 8. Humidity close to 80%. Temperatures now range from 63 in Smithfield to uh, mid-60s along the South Shore. Only 60 in Taunton. Talk about chilly Boston now at 57 degrees. Other neighborhood weather locations with uh, similar temperatures right now with readings in the 60s. We widen out the view. little storm system that came through last night with some generous rain, some damp weather early this morning is now pulled away. Here's a second system. You can see all these showers and thunderstorms firing up across central and northern New England and coastal Connecticut. So we'll keep some showers in the forecast next couple of hours. Perhaps the rumble of thunder as lightning tracker is indicating some activity now along the Mass Pike. So for this evening, early on, a passing shower or thunderstorm 7 o'clock temperature at 60, partly cloudy by 11 o'clock this evening, down to about uh, 57 degrees. Now we'll start with clouds, even a little patchy fog tomorrow morning, though not anticipating any showers. Temperature at around 58 degrees. As we get deeper into the morning, and certainly during the afternoon hours, it'll be more of a blend of sunshine and clouds. A comfortable day, a little milder, looking at the high temperatures in the uh, lower 70s by around 2 o'clock in the afternoon with that cloud-sun mix. Along the south shore, temperatures in the uh, upper 60s, we've got a light south southeast breeze at 5 to 10, partly sunny skies. So overall, not bad. I mean, the temperatures are still running slightly below average, but at least it's dry. We're not dealing with showers or storms for your Friday afternoon with that cloud-sun mix. Upper 60s across the Cape. New Bedford at uh, 70 in Fall River. Similar temperature Taunton at 72 degrees. Bay forecast an east breeze in the morning, turning south-southeast in the afternoon. Visibility may be reduced at uh, sunrise and some fog, but improving. High tide at Newport Harbor, 730 in the morning. If you have beach plans tomorrow, clouds in the morning some sunshine in the afternoon. All right, showers for the weekend. What's the deal? What's the timing? Right now we're thinking Saturday night into Sunday. We'll start with some sunshine Saturday morning. Clouds increasing in the afternoon up to 78. Have to dodge some uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms on Sunday and a high temperature running at about uh, 75 degrees. So there's some little bumps in the road over the weekend. It's not a perfect one, but it's not uh, an all-day rain. Some high school playoff games were canceled today for, until tomorrow because of the rain. So Better chances tomorrow. Okay, yeah. thanks, Tony.